What do you mean by a proportional derivative control? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju. Welcome to the Backwood Chachari community. And I'll make it very easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term proportional derivative controller? Well, what's that? Right. So, let us consider a particular unit negative feedback control system. So, in the case of a unit negative feedback control system, First, we would have a forward loop gain, say, G over here. And then here, we will have a negative feedback element that is provided over here. So, if this is the input signal R of T, then this is the output signal C of T. So, this C of T, it goes over here and it goes over here and it is passed through this particular forward loop transfer function G. So now here, in this particular control system, if we want to increase the stability of this particular system without disturbing the steady state error of this particular control system, that is when we use a proportional derivative controller. As simple as that, guys. If we simply just want to increase the stability of this system without causing any change in the steady state error of this particular system, that is when we simply use the proportional derivative controller. So for that, before this particular forward loop gain over here like this, we would provide a particular PD or a proportional derivative controller. So the input to this particular proportional derivative controller is the error signal E of T, which is the sum or the difference between this particular signal R of T and this particular negative feedback signal. So this particular error signal E of T goes into this particular proportional derivative controller. And from this PD controller, we will get an output signal u of t. So here, let us now take this particular output signal u of t. So u of t, just like the name suggests, this is proportional to something related to a derivative. So here, what we have to understand is that this particular output signal u of t, it is proportional to the input over here to this particular controller, which is e of t, plus it is also proportional to the derivative d by dt of this particular input signal e of t. So now, in order to remove this particular proportional sign and to make it an equal to sign, we have to add the proportionality constants over here. So now, we would get u of t is equal to a proportionality constant kp into e of t plus another proportionality constant kd into the derivative d by dt into e of t. So now, upon taking the Laplace transform over here, we would get capital U of S is equal to Kp into the Laplace transform of E of T is simply just E of S plus Kd into derivative of E of T. So the derivative of E of T, the Laplace transform of the derivative of D of T is given as S into E of S. So now we can take this particular E of S as common outside. So this we would get equal to E of S multiplied by Kp plus Kd into S. This is U of S. So now the transfer function is given as the output divided by the input. The output transform divided by the input transform. So here the output is u of t and the input is e of t. So the transfer function is simply u of s divided by e of s. So taking this e of s over here we would get u of s divided by e of s is equal to kp plus kd into s. So now here, if we take the proportionality constant Kp as common here, we would get this as, this is equal to Kp into 1 plus Kd divided by Kp into S. But if we take this particular Kd by Kp as a constant, 
TD and substituting this constant in here, we would get the transfer function as u of s divided by e of s is equal to kp into 1 plus td into s. This is the required transfer function of this particular proportional derivative controller. As simple as that guys. This is simply how we design a proportional derivative controller for the purpose of increasing the stability of a control system without disturbing the steady state error. As simple as that guys. There's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of how you can design a proportional derivative controller. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.